talk about cutaneous fungal infections. Right, so these are a group of superficial fungal infections affecting the skin and its appendages, thus the hair and the nails. You need to remember that the superficial mycosis, which we talked about in the previous video, they are limited to the stratum conium and uh, they essentially elicit no inflammation. Right, so you can click the link on the top right corner and watch the superficial fungal infections video. Right, so cutaneous infections will involve the integument and its appendages including the hair and nails, right? So you can see this difference. In superficial, there is no inflammation. And in cutaneous, there is inflammation, right? And most of these infections are caused by dermatophytes. There are also cutaneous fungal infections that are caused by non-dermatophyte fungi uh, and the yeast, for example, those caused by candida species, right? So we'll spend a great amount of time talking about the dermatophytes, right? So what are dermatophytes? These are a group of cutaneous fungal infections caused by more than 30 species of fungi. The dermatophytic fungi live in the dead, horny layer of the skin, hair, and nails, right? Dermatophytes are called keratinophilic, thus keratin-loving. It means keratin is a major protein the, uh, that is found in horns, hooves, but here in, on, on human beings, we talk about nails, hair, and the skin, right? So this keratin attracts these bugs, right? So these bugs will contain uh, or secrete an enzyme called keratinase that digest keratin. And the digestion of keratin will manifest as scaling of the skin, the formation of the scales, loss of hair, alopecia, and crumbling of the nails. The common dermatophytes will include microsporum, trichophyton, and epidermophyton. Right, uh, now let's talk about uh, the first infection called tinea corporis. Corporis is body, right? So it's body tinea, right? So following invasion of the horny layer of the skin, the fungal will spread and form a ring shape with a red raised border, right? So this expanding uh, raised border represent areas of active inflammation with a healing center, right? So sometimes, and this is very wrong, it's called a ringworm, right? But it's, it's wrong because it's not caused by a worm, it's caused by a fungus. But a ringworm is what they call it, right? So, so tinea corporis, you find it on the body and it causes this ringworm appearance caused by tinea corporis. Number two is called tinea cruris or jock itch, right? So patients who develop each red patches that extend from the groin to the inner thigh and the scrotum. The next one is tinea pedis or athlete's foot, right? So this infection commonly begins between the toes and causes cracking and peeling of the skin. And this infection requires a warmth and moisture so it commonly okay in what those who are always wearing shoes like uh, footballers for example right okay so yeah it looks like this athlete's foot next one is tinea capitis caput is the head so they are found on the scalp Right, so this condition primarily okay in children, right? So the infecting organism will grow in the hair and scalp, resulting in scale red lesions with alopecia, hair loss. The infection will appear as an expanding ring, right? So there is a one specific bug called trichophyton tonsurans, Right. So it's responsible for more than 90% of the cases of tinea capitis in the United States. Trichophyton tonsurans. The next infection is called tinea anguium. 
tinea anguium is onychomycosis, all about the nails, right? So the nails will become thickened, discolored, and brittle, right? So that's onychomycosis. Another one is called the barber's itch, tinea barbe, right? So it affects the beaded portion of the face, tinea barbe, tinea barbe for barber, barber's itch, right? So you remember everything that we've talked about so far. Tinea corporis, it formed the ringworm, right? We talked about the athlete's foot, tinea pedis. Tinea capitis on the scalp here on this baby, and you can see uh, tinea ongium, tinea ongium for the nails, and tinea babi for this, uh, what, a barber's itch on the beaded portion of the face. Right, so how do you diagnose this cutaneous fungal infection, right? So there are two ways, right? The first way, you dissolve the skin scraping in potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide will digest the keratin. Then the microscopic examination will, will review hyphae. Right, that's method number one. Or well, number two, you do direct examination of the hair and skin with wood slide. Wood slide, right? So this is wood slide, uh, right? So certain species of microsperm will fluorescence a brilliant green, right? So you can see this uh, brilliant green. This is the area of uh, the infection. Treatment. How do you treat the dermatophytes? Right. So the first line is tropical uh, imidazole, right? The meconazole, ketoconazole, etc. Right. So the skin should be kept dry and exposed uh, to the drying effects of the air. Right. So if you have, uh, if you are, you are treating this condition, make sure the portion that is infected is exposed. Right. I'm not going to read the next sentence i'm sorry <laughs> okay all right so um more involved dermatophytes infections of the skin and nails can be treated with oral agents such as tabinafine and the azoles primarily fluconazole or itraconazole right so that's about uh, the dermatophytes on cutaneous infection i said Candida species will also cause uh, subcutaneous infection. Right now we are talking about the Candida albicans, right? So it can cause oral thrush, diaper rash, Candida vaginitis, right? Sometimes it can also cause opportunistic systemic infections, Candida, as we are going to see. I said we have a separate video on Candida. So you have to check the a mycology playlist and watch that video right so here i just wanted to show you the appearance of the oral thrush and you can see diaper rash i'm sorry i'm not going to show you candida vaginitis but thank you so much for watching this video if you find these videos interesting and beneficial please make sure you share them with your colleagues and subscribe